Hey, I'm Ryan Fowler from The Game. On a post game here, you can call it the post game of the game, or you can call it Ryan's rant. It's probably a little bit of both. But you know, as we summarize everything that happened this week, you probably have to go back to the original thing that we discussed on Monday. We had a chance to feature uh, one of the writers, Josh Kendall, actually broke the story from Columbia, South Carolina. We featured him right out of the gate on Monday. We talked about the comment about Steve Spurrier taking a jab at Nick Saban. And you know, on Friday, that statement is just as idiotic as it was on Monday. You look at Steve Spurrier and you have a chance to do some research. Let's flip it on him. When he talks about Nick Saban recruiting and having the best talent and he should win more games, well, hold on a minute. I'm not really sure Nick Saban is maxed out. I'm not really sure he's even reached the peak. He could be able to do that maybe in 2014. I think there's still many more games that Nick Saban's going to win, more championships that Nick Saban's going to win as he continues to coach here and chase that legacy of Coach Bryant in Tuscaloosa. But Steve Spurrier, let me remind you of your Florida days for a couple of things. Let's go back to the 90s. There was always that one game, just like that one game that cost Alabama a chance to go to the dynasty and win three in a row and do something that had never been done in college football. We go back to Steve Spurrier. How many times did you lose that one game in the 90s? Whether it was Alabama, whether it was Auburn, whether it was other teams in the SEC, you walked out of probably a, a could have been one of the greatest runs in college football history, but you only walked out of that 90s with one championship. One championship. You recruited like a machine. You brought big-time players to that program. You rejuvenated the Florida Gators. But how many championships did you win? I'm talking about national titles. You won several SEC championships, six to be exact but you only walked out one time saying that you're the best in college football. So spin that back on yourself, Coach Spurrier. I'm not exactly sure the criticism that you issued Nick Saban is fair. When you look back at your own household, you've got some things to clean up. Will you win an SEC championship or even a national title? Well, or even an SEC championship at South Carolina? That's the question. That's Ryan's rant. I'll see you guys back Monday at 5 here on the New York Tide 99.1.